Do you remember the story of the old man who dreamt of building a city of his own? So what was the status of the city when we last talked about it? Yes, a wall had been built around the city to provide protection and also a gate had been made for the free entry and exit of all people. So now thieves and robbers were also entering into the city and creating a lot of problem in the city. So how did the old man prevent this unwanted entry into the city? He immediately appointed guards at the gate who were asked to check on every individual trying to leave the city or enter the city. That is how unauthorized entry was prevented. Now just like the wall that was built around the city, plant cells also have a cell wall for protection and it has these pores and these pores on the cell wall. See? These pores act like the gates of the city. It allows the free entry and exit of all molecules. Now, all molecules might not be good. A few of them can be harmful to the plant cell. For that, plant cells have an additional mechanism to regulate this free entry and exit in the cell. For that, plant cells have another structure inner to the cell wall and is known as the cell membrane. The cell membrane acts like the guards at the gate who were asked to check on every person trying to enter into the city or leave the city. So the cell membrane is a selectively permeable membrane that is it allows only specific molecules to pass through it. This is a plant cell and this is an animal cell. Now, can you point out the structure that is common between the animal cell and the plant cell? Yes, this structure that you can see is common between both the plant cell and an animal cell. And this structure is the cell membrane. Now, if you notice, this part is exclusive only to the plant cell. So, plant cell contains a cell wall, but an animal cell lacks a cell wall. So, what is this hard outer covering of an egg? Well, egg is a single cell. Now, this hard covering cannot be the cell wall because egg is an animal cell and an animal cell lacks a cell wall. Now, can you identify which is the cell membrane of the egg in this picture? If you again say this, it is the hard shell-like structure, you would be wrong. It is actually this white, delicate, thin membrane that you see inner to the hard shell, which is the cell membrane. Now, what is this selectively permeable cell membrane made of? Let us see. You can see this yellow globular structures that are present in two layers. So what are these yellow globular structures? These structures are known as lipids. What are lipids? Lipids are a kind of fat. And then you see these large pink structures that are present at regular intervals. These structures are known as proteins. So lipids and proteins together form a structure known as the lipoprotein. So the cell membrane is made up of these lipoproteins. <laughs> 